What's happening? You know what's happening. Two players, two sides. One is light, one is dark. What the hell's that all about? Inside joke. Everyone pays the price now. So we have a number of things to talk about in the cave. Big revelations, but I think you have to go to the numbers. It was really satisfying in a visceral way to know that the numbers stand for people. And then my very next thought is, what Where's does it Kane? mean? Oh. oh. Who wrote all this? His name was Jacob. When Sawyer said, what's up with the numbers? Fake Locke just kind of shrugged and said, Jacob had a thing for numbers. Did you believe him? No, totally. He knows what they are. <laughs> we don't know it's exactly the castaways either. These were last names. That's right. And, and we found that obviously out with Quan. I don't know if it's son or if it's Jin. Or? Could it be Jian, you know? Yeah. If that's how you say that child's name, I always forget how to pronounce it. She looks just like Jin. Shepard? That'd be Jack Shepard. Could it be Christian Shepard? I'm with him. You have to wonder if there was a lot of misdirection going on. I am reminded of what we were told by Sawyer several seasons ago on the key to a long con. It's all in the details. And there were so many devilish little details in this cave. It was easy to be sort of sucked into, but you just gotta wonder if the whole thing was just a intricate bit of stagecraft. But another question we need to ask is, where was Kate? We saw all these flashes to Jacob touching all the castaways, but we know that Jacob touched more than we saw. Be good, Katie. Did he already rule those people out as candidates? Or is fake Locke just not telling the whole story? What does being a candidate mean? Well, according to Smokey... He thought he was the protector of this place. And you, James, have been nominated. Take over that job. Not that it needs protecting. There's nothing to protect it from. It's just a damned island. It totally needs protecting, right? There's definitely something really special about this place. And I'm sure that when we hear Jacob's side of this story, I just have to wonder if that's gonna be a key part of his defense. You've seen the donkey wheel down right. in the basement. This place is special. <laughs> that's right. I wonder if we're building into some like Rashomon situation here. We're just gonna keep getting downloads of this information, but it's just gonna be seen from a different angle. Everyone has their own perspective on the matter. And it's gonna be up to us maybe to really kind of decide where the real truth lies. <laughs> At the end of the episode, the Loch Ness Monster makes this big pitch to Sawyer. He gives him all these choices of what he can do. One of them was, you could join me and we can go home. And Sawyer's like, hell yes. Did you believe Sawyer? Is he now in league with Smokey? Well, I got that sense. Are you suggesting like, what, like a long con or something going on here? Yes. I got to think that Sawyer's real suspicions with fake Loch started when he saw the boy. What kid? reminded me of the moment at the beginning of the last episode. He's an Iraqi torturer who shoots kids. He definitely deserves another go around. That's a line that Sawyer kind of draws in the sand. You don't mess with kids. He should know. He got messed with pretty profoundly when he was a kid. We talked about that little boy, that ghost boy on the island. Yeah, he looked a little bit like Jacob. Yeah, maybe an Aaron vibe. I also got a Sawyer vibe from him too. And it just made me wonder if Sawyer had some kind of connection. And he said, this guy's bad news. I'm just thinking that he's playing fake lock. He's gonna study him. He's gonna keep his eye on him. He's gonna figure out what his weakness is so that he can strike and take him down.